So I just did the math. I added it up. What you guys are looking at right here this is my last 30 days of action on the market. That's 57 trades right there. And out of 57 trades, only three of them were for losses. Everything else is in the blue, all profit. You can see all three of my losses right there in that same shot. Now you might ask yourself how it is I was able to compile such a streak. Absolutely. Make sure you can see that well. No losses in the last seven or eight days. All blue for profit. And then yesterday evening on a Sunday. A quick 355 come on focus on that for me focus 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 well you can see it's three digits I'm not gonna play around with that so what I've been doing lately that's really been working for me I try to keep my group chat up on everything I've got going uh, I will often make adjustments to my strategy based on how my experiences have been going. As you can see right now, I don't think I need to make any changes. Uh, something you may have noticed when you were looking at my trade screen is that every single trade I made, it was all the same pair, all GBP, JPY. Now, why would I do that? Uh, for one, it's my favorite pair. I'm not really sure why, but I'm drawn to the yen. And GBP JPY is one of the more volatile JPY pairs out there, which just basically means it moves around a lot. Um, the more a pair moves, the more opportunities for profit you're going to have on that pair. So when I looked and I saw the GBP JPY was averaging over uh, close to 200 pips a day, I said that was something I wanted to be involved with. Now, something that only trading one pair does for me, and it's a little unique to what you probably see on YouTube around various traders, I've noticed myself that most all traders will trade everything they possibly can. Uh, the mindset would be you don't want to miss out on any opportunities, and maybe the particular pair you decide to trade isn't really moving like that that day or during that time frame that you're trading. Uh, some of the things you can do to assist with that would be to focus on trading during the hours that those correlating markets are open. So, for instance, GBP, JPY would be the London and the Asian market. I do a lot of trading late at night and early in the morning while these markets are open. So that's how I'm able to kind of uh, become more efficient and maximize on this one pair that I'm trading is making sure I'm in the right place at the right time in regards to that pair. Now, because I've only been trading the same pair every single day, for the last, I say a year and a half, what it's been able to do for me is I've become so familiar with the pair. Uh, I'm used to seeing certain situations play out and I, my instincts become more reliable because I've seen a lot of game tape, so to speak. Uh, one of my favorite analogies when it comes to Forex is being an NFL quarterback. So as you may or may not know, NFL being here, popular here in America, I know it's a lot of countries watching, but NFL quarterbacks are usually one of the smartest players on the team, and one of the things they do to prepare for each game week is they watch a lot of game tape on the defense that they're going up against. So in this analogy, you could consider the market the defense is going to throw different coverages at you. It's going to try to trick you. It's going to try to scare you out of what your game plan is. But if you've seen enough game tape and you study that defense enough, eventually you're going to be familiar with what it is they're trying to do to you or trying to get you to do. And you can counter that to find success, similar to an NFL quarterback. 
Like Tom Brady, for instance, he watches hours of game tape, so he already knows what the defense is going to do before they do it. Very similar process to how I study the game tape on GBPJPY, so I get so familiar with the price swings and the volatility and the reversals and the trends and how momentum hits when certain areas of support and resistance are broken, how this pair responds to different indicators on different settings at different times of the day during different times of the year, how it responds to different news articles, high priority, medium priority, low priority, and then of course the Brexit negotiations. So I was fortunate enough to learn about the Brexit a few months back and GBP being the primary currency for GBP JPY of course when the UK exits the European Union with a no deal scenario which is what we are looking at right now as a likely scenario is going to cause the price of this pair to do one of two things either go up or go down and rather than just give you the answer to that question even though it's pretty obvious if you look at my trading history. I'm going to let you watch my next video on Brexit and how Brexit affects GBP pairs and what you should be doing if you check the news and you see that the UK has exited the European Union, meaning that no deal Brexit scenario has been reached. So um, this is just a little insight on my thinking process, uh, how I approach this Forex trading market, uh, a couple tips for you guys out there. Before you execute a trade, make sure you check the news, make sure you analyze the current trend, make sure you know which currency is stronger than the other because when you're talking about a pair, it's basically two countries matched against one another the one that's winning is going to be the one that's dictating the direction of the exchange price so analyze that trend check the news fundamental and technical analysis right there uh get some pivot points or some kind of landmarks as far as what the closest significant areas of support and resistance are so you know where price movement should cut off or turn around or uh, give you a target to aim for, so to speak. And then just make sure you are calculating your risk management on every single position. It's really easy to get sucked in, make two or three bad trades in a row, and before you know it, you've lost half of your account. So not only is that a really bad day, but it's going to start to eat away at your mentality you're going to lose confidence in your strategy and eventually you may just end up quitting uh, it's not what you want not what i want for you so uh, practice good risk management make sure you give yourself the opportunity to make five to ten bad trades and still be in the game to turn that day around uh, every day your goal should be to end in the blue and not the red don't necessarily worry about the dollar amount in the beginning and if you guys have any questions at all related to your trading or something that you're learning from these videos or anywhere else feel free to connect with me on social media uh, all three of my social media links are right on the home page for my channel now and I am also organizing all my videos in the category so if you go to my home page and you scroll down you'll be able to find my videos a lot easier now because they are put into categories based on what you need to learn like forex basics here uh, technical analysis videos here fundamental analysis videos here live trading segments i'm going to be posting some of my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions for the students that approve that to be posted and just stick with me man i got a lot of good material coming for you guys i appreciate you guys lucky trading Good luck with your trading this week and pay attention to the Brexit.
If you're trading GBP pairs, that's all I got for you today.